Hello, this is part two of our multi-part series that goes over the available upgrades for the Ishin E010 and the Ishin E011. So we have the E010 on the left here, and then what is actually the uh, Ishin's upgraded version of that drone is the E011 on the right. So you can see they both have an FPV style camera. That was the discussion in part one of our series. So part two, we're going to focus on the available batteries that you can use to upgrade this drone. So first we'll go over what comes in the box with both of these drones when you order them just as the drone without an FPV camera or anything else on it. Uh, so the E010 comes with this little guy. It is a 150 milliamp hour 30C discharge rate and they're both 3.7 volts. So um, this battery is actually not bad if you're just looking to fly the drone without a camera installed on it. So the, the electricity that the drone by itself uses really isn't that big. You could probably get around, I think, six minutes of flight time with that size of battery. But if you look to upgrade the drone and put a camera on it, uh, put a little bit extra weight on it and want to fly it around a little faster, um, we actually found that with that battery, the flight time is reduced somewhere around two and a half, maybe three minutes if you're lucky. Moving over to the E011, you'll notice one very big difference. This thing is actually coming with a 3.7 volt, 260 milliamp hour, 30C battery. And uh, this is actually quite a bit. That's almost twice as much as what comes with the E010 as far as capacity. So I think what happened was Ishin realized that a lot of their customers were mounting cameras on these and they were expecting longer flight times. So they went ahead and included that stock with their newest version which is the 1.1. So as you can see by the stopwatch we got a really good time with the battery on the E011 just under seven minutes and that's actually with the TX03 camera which we said in our previous episode that that uses quite a bit more energy than the smaller camera of the, the DM275T. So we were happy with those results. And it leads into our next section where we'll discuss the upgraded batteries that are available for both these units. So on the left hand side, you'll notice that we actually purchased a bunch of extra spare batteries for the E010 that are also 150 milliamp hour. They're 25C, which is pretty close to 30C. There wasn't a big difference in the performance there. But anyway, these batteries at this point, after we've had some experience with them, are essentially all but worthless. And we no longer use those uh, because two and a half to three minutes of flight time just really isn't worth your time. So in the middle, you can see we went with quite a few new batteries, which are all the same as what comes with the E011. And if you scour the websites and look at forms, you'll notice that people have done a lot of experiments and they've actually moved to uh, the 260 milliamp hour. It seems to be the, the best balance between weight for the battery and the output. So um, that's what we went with. And it seems that Ishin has also agreed. So you can get the 30C or the 45C, which would give you a little more performance, but essentially the same capacity. And again, as you can see by the stopwatch, we got just under seven minutes, which was actually very similar to the E011 results. Um, six minutes and 56 seconds, which was a little bit better, about 15 seconds better than what we got with the E011. But keep in mind that it had a larger camera and larger motors. So they're very comparable in that regard. So if you're looking closely, you notice that the battery that comes with the E011 and the E010 has this type of connector and the ones that we purchased have the micro T connector. So there's a difference there. You will have to make some adjustments if you want to use those style batteries. So what we went ahead and did is you see, this is the connector that goes on the board um, straight out of the box and you can see here on this E010 board we just removed that and we installed an adapter there so you can still install the camera on the top side of the board and the battery on the bottom so uh, one thing to keep in mind when removing this it's a hard job when you just have one person so if you can get an extra set of hands to help you out all right, so that does it for part two of our multi-part series. And when it comes to batteries, it seems that capacity is king. And the 260 milliamp hour 30C or 45C batteries seem to be a great compromise between weight and performance or capacity. 
Um, so these batteries are highly recommended if you want to spend more time flying than you spend changing and charging your batteries. So that does it for part two and be sure to check back with us for part three of the series where we will discuss the available upgrades for motors for these drones. Thanks for watching and check back soon.